Hey, Torts, uh, last three games you guys have been outshot by a, a fairly wide margin. I realized yesterday it was a little crazy. Um, is that concerning at all? Well, we're always uh, concerned about a lot of things. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing we're looking for is where the shots are coming from. So we're always looking at that, and uh, each and every day we have concerns. Aaron Portsline. So I'm putting aside the end result last night. How, how, what was it like for you to be involved in a game like that? How, how impressed are you by some of the performances you saw out there from individuals to, to keep slogging, especially as much hockey as you guys have played in the last six days? Yeah, you know, we, we've played a, uh, put in a lot of minutes here the past five or six days. And uh, the, the coaching staff here is nothing but impressed with our group, how they've handled themselves here in the bubble and how they just get ready to play each and every game. Next question, Mariana Fiello. Hey, Coach. I was wondering, um, with your schedule and with a game like last night, do you do you tell the players to do anything differently today um, for body maintenance-wise or anything like that? Our, our medical people are, are taking care of that. We, we did have a practice scheduled uh, today because it's an afternoon game tomorrow, and you – You'd like to move the blood a little bit uh, before you play another game. But we canceled that. We'll have our 2 o'clock meeting uh, where we have some tape. And, uh, and then our medical people are, uh, have been taking care of them all day long here, getting ready for tomorrow. Next question, Mike Zeisberger. Yeah, Coach, you've, you've coached a lot of uh, really special, talented players, and, and Seth Jones is, is obviously one of them. But – so a lot of skilled players in the league. What attributes does he have that takes him aside from skill? I mean, I mean, watching last night, and you've probably seen this over and over and over again. I mean, every single shift, um, it seems like this kid is noticeable. Yeah, I, I think on this stage, uh, uh, people are finally beginning to see what we've seen for a number of years. I, I don't think he gets enough uh, credit. Uh, for his willingness and how much he defends. Um, I mean, he, he's just outstanding in, in the room that he takes and his willingness to defend, uh, where I think some other players have talked about that put up offensive numbers and have a lot of ice time. Uh, I, I like to see someone who defends as hard as Seth Jones in this league. And, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, people taking notice of him, good for him. Uh, he deserves that. Mark with the Hockey Raiders. Hey, John, just how would you describe the mood of the team after a game like last night? They're fine. Brian Hedger. Hey, John, I know that uh, when you're coaching a game, you're not watching ice times and all that kind of stuff. But when you're in a crazy game like that, does that change at all? I mean, are you, are you taking a peek at some ice times at, at some point? We look at ice times in between period. Uh, it doesn't really affect me. I'm still going uh, uh, on what I think the situation is when we're on the bench. Uh, certainly when you're in those overtimes, uh, you're trying to use your bench as best you can. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but as far as Hedge on the bench, I'm looking at situations. I see, you know, I see he throws a line out that I think this line can be successful. I'll throw it out there. Uh, uh, yeah, you're trying to spread the ice time, but you also don't want to put yourself in a situation where you have a mismatch. And uh, yeah, so that's how we go about it. We'll take a few more for coach. Donna Spencer with the Canadian Press. Coach, the longer that game goes on, how much do the stakes rise for both the winner and the loser? The fifth uh, well, it, it's high stakes, no matter if it's a 60 minute game or whatever we played last night, uh, uh, what it does, it puts a tick in the win column from them and it puts a tick in the loss column for us. And, um, you know, you, you put that much time into it. You're trying to get in the right column. We didn't, they did. Uh, we get ready for our game tomorrow afternoon. Mark from the hockey Raiders. Hey, just one more for me, John, any update on Elvis Merzlikens at all that you can share? No, nope. no. Nope. Uh, last question. It'll go to Dave Metzold. Uh, Towards similar type question. Uh, 
Gavrikov took a shot right at the end of that game. How is he doing, and will he be available tomorrow? Fine. He's set to go. Great. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you.